great lineup of Charlotte Bulls here today. And as we uh, uh, look across the crowd, we have a, a, an outstanding uh, set of bulls that you walk through the pens. Uh, this is the 19th annual sale, and Joel Deering uh, has, uh, has been a guy that uh, one thing that uh, – has sure been conscious of is, is uh, taking care of his local people and uh, and doing a great job and in, in, uh, making sure that uh, uh, you are completely satisfied. Uh, it's uh, one program that uh, you want longevity. The bulls are fed for longevity. They uh, they work uh, each and every year. We see the same people back here to the sale and then uh, uh, sure uh, one of the fancy sets of feeder cattle will sell anywhere uh, in the country is is, uh, is sired by uh, this program. Uh, Joel has done a great job. He uh, he makes sure that uh, uh, he takes care of his customers and I think you, most of you. Ought there sure know that if you're a new person here uh, that uh, you sure want to talk to Joel and, and he does a great job. The bulls are uh, uh, delivered and kept free until May, May 1st. Uh, first breeding, unconditional breeding season guarantee. You will be satisfied. And uh, Joel's off to my right. Uh, we uh, appreciate uh, Philip Livestock and all their efforts to uh, uh, to uh, uh, get the uh, bulls in, in good shape and we appreciate him. Let's give uh, Joel a round of applause as we bring him to the microphone. Thanks, Seth. Uh, I'd like to welcome you all on such a nice day. I hope uh, everybody's been enjoying the winter and got to go up and enjoy the stock show. I kind of reloaded my herd bulls up there. I bought the Grand Champion Bull and two more that I liked awful good. They should work awful good for a long time. And said so this is our 19th annual Charlotte Bull Sale. Uh, we had our first sale here in 95. Had one before, the year before that with Tracy Trask and Presho and I'm proud to see proud to see that uh, some of the same faces are here that today that were here in '95. Now these Charlotte calves, cross calves are doing awful good in dollars per head and dollars per hundred. Crossbreeding with Charlotte bulls sure works on any breed of cows. Increase your pounds weaned per cow and sure improves feed conversion, uniformity, and multi-breed cow herds. And the stock cows, uh, if they come to downbred Charlotte, they sure always bring a premium. I've always seen about fifty to fifty to hundred dollars a head on that. We calve all our cows, purebred and commercial. They all calve in one pasture, and uh, it's 2,500 acres, and they're spread out everywhere, and calving is sure priority for us. And, uh, you know, there's just none of these bulls here today that I would ever see creating a problem for anybody. And uh, the only ones we had to help last year on over 500 head of mature cows were if we had a leg back or backwards or something. Uh, this set of bulls is developed for, for you guys, and uh, that's just the way we do it. Uh, the two-year-old bulls are solid. And uh, they've only been on feed for about 60 days. If you bought them today and took them home, they you turn them right out with your old bulls, and you wouldn't notice a difference in them by spring. Uh, they'll stay together. Uh, the cows uh, started getting a little creep feed around the 1st of October. We weaned November 1st. They've been developed on a high roughage ration. They've been uh, eating about 14 to 15 pounds of a 20% uh, uh, fiber pellet, and we'll keep feeding them a little ground corn. Uh, eight nine pounds a day till delivery time. They'll be gaining about two pounds a day, and the bulls you see today will be weighing about 200 pounds more when we deliver them. And um, they'll also have access to an 80 acre pasture. They'll have a lot of exercise, and they'll be sound and ready to go to work. And the bulls that I deliver to you by the middle of August or whenever you pull them out of your cows, they'll still be in pretty darn good shape. Uh, I have some announcements, some family announcements. Uh, I think a third of my kids are here. John Wayne. Raise your hand, attaboy. Share bear. Uh, my mom's here and my stepdad's here. And my bodyguard and my mascot are here. There's my mascot and there's my bodyguard, Rod and Truett. Um, a couple of catalog corrections in uh, number 58. The three-year-old bull, his yearling ED is 23, not three. Lot four is in the catalog, and uh, it's marked in the sale order. If you didn't get one, the sale orders are down below. Or if you don't get, run down there and get one real quick. If you want to see how we're going to do things, is uh, just kind of didn't come down good enough. Uh, as far as disposition goes, there's only two here that would ever even remotely create a problem. 38 will just walk away from you a little bit, and eight kind of picks his head up. He's never done anything bad, or I wouldn't have brought him either one of them. But just so you know, everything else is just plumb dead gentle. Um, there are five bulls for heifers that would work. They're in the two-year-old pen. In your sale order, they're all in a row. They're from 53 to 52. And if you don't have a sale order, the bulls that would work on heifers are all in the twos. They're 53, 58, 66, 
62 and 52. Uh, let's see, uh, discounts, uh, if you take a bull home today, it's $150 off per bull. Volume discounts, 5% on 5, 10% on 10. We keep the bulls till May 1st. Uh, board and deliver to May 1st. We try to get them to the nearest sale barn, or if that doesn't work out, we'll get them right to your ranch. Uh, if you want your bull branded with your brand, just mark it very clearly on the uh, pink sheet that they give back to me, the brand and location, and uh, we're pretty good at drawing it on there if we don't have the iron. So, Anyway, uh, your sale representatives today are John Miller sitting right down here, Don Ravelette, oh, where'd he go? There he is. Colt Keffer, Dan Prodick from Tri-State Livestock News. And I believe that's it. I don't think I forgot anybody or anything. I actually wrote down a speech this time, and it made me more nervous than not having one. Oh, yeah, our, our producers of the year this year were Matt Brothers from Elm Spring, South Dakota. Not sure where those guys are at. There they are. And thank you guys very much, and thank you all for coming. Appreciate it. They, uh, they used the bull on heifers last year, and every calf is unassisted. You're right there. A lot of cavities. There you go, 58. Right there. He's trick tested. Everything's ready. Minus 2.8 birth weight. And uh, he grew from 77 pounds to your number one yearling weight bull, 1,545 pounds. There you go. I remember there. There you go. Present day weight. There you go. 5,000 mare. Do again. 2,000. I do. Do say two. I do. Don't do hand. Don't do Thirty-five hundred. Williams, Ross Williams. Even number. Ninety-two. The sixty-two. Sixty-two. I remember about about there, guys. Another cavity's bull. Minus two point oh, and I mean, look at the rib in that bull. I remember about there. Sixty-two, guys. Fourteen hundred and thirty pounds on his uh, January weight. There you go. Big stout bull. Five thousand. Two thousand. Where? Two thousand. Two and a half. I did two and a half. Thirty-five. Not twenty. Two and a half. Not twenty. Two and a half. Not twenty. Two and a half. Three. Eight and three. Two and a half. Two and a half. Not thirty. Two and a half. Thirty-two. Fifty. Eight and three. Two and a half. Two and a half. Thirty-two. Don't be. Two and a half. Two and a half. Thirty-two. Fifty. Thirty-two hundred and fifty. Thirty-two and fifty. Some three thousand dollars more. Sixty-two, sixty-two. 